Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Anika Jain this side, and in this video, we shall be talking about the Trust My Craft Mini Scoreboard and Multi-Purpose Scoreboard. So let's get started. So that's the multi-purpose scoreboard from Dress My Craft that measures extra than 12 inches for easy placement of papers. On the front side, it has got the transparent packaging and here it's mentioned multi-purpose scoring board, ideal for creating envelopes, envelope boxes, gift boxes, invitations and more. Here are some inspirations and it has got transparent packaging on the front and on the back some detailing is mentioned like create envelope and the way how you can create envelope is mentioned here how you can make your envelope box and the details are mentioned here and how you can make your gift box and the details are mentioned here the scoreboard as well comes with a triangular ruler and bone folder which is placed on the back side of the scoreboard which later in this video i shall show so in total it has got three pieces that is the one scoreboard one bone folder and one triangular ruler we shall also be discussing about the mini scoreboard from dress my craft so dress my craft has got two different types of scoreboard this one is the mini scoreboard and this one is the multi-purpose scoreboard so first of all let's talk about the mini scoreboard from dress my craft and let's see the specifications and features of this scoreboard so this scoreboard has got two pieces within that is one the scoring board and the other is this bone folder and on the back side it has got these detailings which are extra add-on and as well as some measurements so here you can see the measurements on the left hand side are in inches so this scoreboard comes with all the basic measurements like 0.25 inches, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1 inch and in other words you can say 1 eighth, 1 fourth and 3 fourth and then 1 inch. And then on this side here you will see the measurements in centimeter. So this amazing scoreboard has got measurements in centimeter as well as in inches. So you can create your envelopes, card, envelope boxes, explosion box, gift boxes and what not with this scoreboard. On the back side it has got the inch chart on the top so it is very handy for a newbie as well to create your cards and beneath that the inch chart is mentioned in centimeter as well. And here is the how to guide so you can easily work with this and create your beautiful projects also this has got these embossing effect which you can see here so you can create embossing effect on your cards envelopes very easily as well also the build up quality of this scoreboard is just amazing and I just love working with this. Now let's talk about this bone folder. So on to one end it has got this curved finish which makes it very handy and the grip is just amazing. On to the second side it has got this notch ending. So on one side it has got notch ending and on the other side it has got the curvy end. Another amazing feature I like about this is the size that is it measures 8.5 inches by 6.3 inches. And also if you're a crafter and you travel a lot then you can carry this one with yourself it's very handy. So now let's talk about the bigger scoreboard which is the multi-purpose scoreboard. The scoreboard measures extra than 12 inches for easy placement of papers. So here you can see the measurements are in inches onto the left hand side here you can see 0, 1 fourth, half, 3 fourth, 1 and so on as well as here in inches and on the lower side here you will see the dimensions mentioned in centimeters. As well on this side you get measurements in centimeters so the add-on benefit of this scoreboard is you get measurement in centimeter as well as in inches. So now let's flip it over and see what's on the back side of this scoreboard. So here you get this bone folder 
and here is the triangular ruler which you get Apart from this you can see these four anti slippery pads on the four corners of the scoreboard so that whenever you are working it stays stable and doesn't move so now here you can see how easy it is to take out the bone folder and it has got this curvy edge also if you're enjoying this video then don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel if you're new so you never miss an update from us so this triangular ruler is placed for making an envelope or an envelope box so the dimension and instructions are mentioned here itself so that easily you can work on so this gets placed here aligning on the 12 inch side and here you can easily score the lines On the back side of this rectangular ruler, the instructions for making the gift box is mentioned as well. So these are the two scoreboards which Dress My Craft has, the mini one and the multi-purpose one. Now I shall share some inspirations and some projects which I made using these scoreboard. So first I have this card. For this sentiment, I have used the hydrangea lawns 12 by 12 paper and out of one sheet I have pre-cut this sentiment. And for the base, I have used the Dress My Craft Pastel Yellow Textured Cardstock. It is of 300 GSM and is a pack of 10 sheets. And here you can see I have used the vellum sheet. So this vellum sheet is also from Dress My Craft. This is the white vellum sheet of 110 GSM. The link to all the craft supplies is mentioned in the description box. So here you can see I have just added some diagonal lines using the scoreboard and created this very easy and quick card. Here I have created this envelope. The tutorial is already mentioned on our channel so you can check out our previous videos. And here I have given texture on the background using the scoreboard itself. So apart from this, I have also created this rosette using the scoreboard and just my craft product. So I'll just give a description of this as well. So for the rosette, I have used the scoreboard and this is the one of the sheets from the dress my craft paperback which is the magnolia and for the border here I have used this dotted border punch from dress my craft itself. So using the border punch I have created that and the centerpiece for centerpiece I have used this classic doily from dress my craft and these are the handmade flowers using the floral oriental paper and this is the ruffled rose dye which I have used to create these flowers and for flower center I have used the black flower pearls for more information about flower pearls you can check out our previous video and here I have added on these satin twines, this one, this is the white twine from Dress My Craft and this bow is as well from Dress My Craft. So this is the mix pack, pack of mixed bows, so it has got multi colors. For these as well I have used the Magnolia's paper pack and have created these. Here you can see I have used the banner punch. And here you can see this has got this daisy border so for that I have used the daisy border punch from dress my craft itself I have used this border punch to create the beautiful effect so the link to all these craft supplies is mentioned in the description box so you can check that out so that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this product review on the multi-purpose scoreboard and the mini scoreboard see you soon until next time with another product review till then happy crafting